American Ski Jumping Hall of Fame has held its first induction ceremony in the Upper Peninsula. Last night's seventh annual induction took place at the Big Powderhorn Lodge in Bessemer. Hall of Famer and new UP resident Brian Sanders was the master of ceremonies. Around 140 people attended. The first five induction ceremonies were held in Red Wing, Minnesota. That's where the American Ski Jumping Hall of Fame will be located. Last year's event was in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. The American Ski Jumping Hall has nearly 190 members, including approximately 20 from the UP. For the three UP inductees, one from Ironwood and two from Dickinson County, it was a special night. It's a rather overwhelming experience. I'm trying to figure out why they would even have considered me, but we're, we're very happy that they did. Uh, I'd like to think that maybe we've done some good things out at the peak and uh, we'll continue to do so. Uh, it's a great sport, a uh, very safe sport nowadays, and uh, we hope it's got a bright future. A humbling experience, especially to see all of my buddies uh, from all over and Iron Mountain, where they brought up about probably 10 guys here that I haven't seen for quite a few years. Dad, uh, he was very instrumental through the, uh, the competitions and the practices and the trainings and the travels and everything. He was very instrumental. The, the hills, he represented everybody. He prepared all the hills for everybody. He helped uh, whatever was needed. It's the most incredible feeling you can have in a, for a ski jumper because it's a pretty good rush when you, when you get up there and you know, the, the wind and the, how that uh, cantilever will, will start bouncing a little bit and you get the feel of that and you get in that track and the, the speed uh, gets, you know, you start getting up in speed and it's just uh, incredible when you get in there. Thompson was one of the top sky flyers at Copper Peak in the early to mid 1970s. The reason for holding the ceremony in the Western UP was to help promote that ski flying. will return to Copper Peak in just over six months, February 28th through March 2nd, 2014. Over in the Barry Event Center at NMU, kids from ages 6 to 15 participated in the Goalies Inc. Hockey School Camp. This two-day camp featured individual instruction for goalies of all skill levels, and it happens to be the UP's only goalie school. It's run by Marquette Royals goalie coach Jim Stanaway, who said the main goal of the camp was to teach these kids the proper stance, techniques, and basic foundations of goaltending through repetition. For goalies, should be just like breathing, you know. You should focus on the puck and the play, but your movement should, your movement should just happen. So what we do is that we practice it, we practice it. We take five or six simple fundamental drills, fundamental concepts, and we practice, practice, practice. And by the time these kids are done, you know, you can see a huge improvement in these, uh, in these fundamental drills that we do. But the biggest thing is that it's a two days, it's real high intensity. And, uh, you know, most of the time, uh, parents are telling me right after the kids leave, they're, they're sleeping in the car and they're sleeping on the ride home, which, you know, for me, I think that's a, uh, that's a success for the camp. Goalies in Hockey School runs seven camps throughout the year. For more information on where and how to sign up, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. Highlights, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. All right, thank you very much, Lily. We'll be right back with your final story.